I'm already tired. I didn't even start school yet. Good morning. I start college this year. Not going away because that's just too much for me honestly also there's a couple other things that i want to focus on that i'm probably not going to be able to focus on if you let me into a college on a bright side you guys will still see my life it's not just going to be me on a campus even though my college does have a campus which is one of the good things i'm still getting kind of the college experience i just don't live there i know a lot of people are probably disappointed in telling me that i'm not going to get the full college experience but honestly i don't want to be in debt to live at school to me sorry so i'm gonna spend at least maybe a semester even a year maybe at a community college and if i decide to go to a university then we'll go from there as for now i have to prep because i look like a bum like i'm a menace to society let me give you guys a little bit more background I feel like i'm leaving you guys in the dark it's saturday august 21st i start school on the 25th and I do things very, le matter of fact, let me introduce myself. My name is Jada, more commonly known as Jaji, as you guys see by my channel. And if you guys don't know, I do everything very last minute. So like, comment, and subscribe, I promise you're gonna love it. I have a last appointment tomorrow at 9 a.m. I did already get a test. I don't wanna say too much because I feel like YouTube's gonna like shadow ban my video if I say too much about the, you know what I mean. You do have to have a negative test at least seven days before school starts. So I did that tried to record it the lady shut me down real quick insert clip here you're gonna record i can't so let me just say if you haven't gotten tested yet it burns i probably bleeped it all throughout this conversation i don't even know if you guys know what i'm talking about use context clues you guys are smart so basically i'm gonna be prepping for my second consecutive four-year jail sentence all right i'm just gonna start on my nails because i know you guys saw them and they look ridiculous surprise i do my nails myself for you guys that don't know love your relationship with that just because you know i'd like to sit back and be pampered once in a while and again i save so much money and i can do whatever i want um there's a couple things i want to talk to you guys about but i guess i'll just start my nails i do have an idea in mind however the materials that i need for it isn't all here yet but worst comes to worst i'll just order it off of amazon but i do want to get my base down which is just a normal pink base you know what i have a bad habit of doing feeling like everything is a tutorial also it's probably less aesthetically pleasing to see me actually doing my nails rather than in a nail salon but i'm gonna try to get you guys the most aesthetic clips because you know we're about aesthetics here that was sarcasm <laughs> i've literally been doing my nails for three hours that's how they turned out honestly it doesn't take me that long to do my left hand because i'm right-handed but when we reverse that i've been doing nails for about a year or two now and it's still it, it never gets old um this is obviously like not the finalized design i did order a chrome powder so i could do a chrome french tip but i ordered it over a really sketchy website and i don't know if it's gonna come in time so i'm going on amazon so i'm looking for a chrome powder but they just they sell them in packs and i don't need a pack that's not gonna come in time okay this one says it'll come by the 24th that's like pushing it and i really don't want to be doing my nails the day before school but this is looking like our best bet i don't know if you guys can hear the rain and the thunder outside but we just got issued a flash flood warning for the bronx and i have a last appointment in the morning so mother nature don't play with me I need some love. I literally just got another flash flood warning. It's 3.15 p.m. My last appointment got canceled slash rescheduled. I have a new appointment for 4.30, but I'll read you the messages. Said, hey girl, sorry for contacting you so late. I'm seeing a lot of warnings for tomorrow basically telling me to stay in. So she said, I completely understand, stay safe, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, trust me, if I need to come, I'm gonna be there. She said, or you could come today at four o'clock, someone canceled on me. I said, I'll be there at four. Then she pushed it back to 4.30, but whatever, the later the better, give me more time to get ready. I think I'm gonna keep my hair in a bonnet, honestly, because it's raining. Like, what do you expect? What do you want from me? So now what I'm going back and forth in between is, should I bring my G7X or should I bring my M50? 
950 is bigger and I feel like it intimidates people. And I was gonna drive, but I don't know how parking is around her area, so I just decided not to, especially because it's raining, people are inside, nobody's leaving. I just really hope I like this girl because she's really close to my house and she's super affordable. The only thing I was bummed about is the fact that she doesn't do bottom lashes. She did them on somebody before and I told her, like, girl, try them. Try like you need to practice, so practice on me. She was like, you know, I want my work done right, which I completely understand, but I want some bottoms i'm about to start getting ready i'm not doing anything too extravagant i think i'm still leaving my bonnet on i just want to fix my baby hairs because she's not about to take no close-ups for her page with my baby hairs looking like this earlier than normal i'm up before 1 p.m that's like really new got some packages early that's my address oh my god i'm never up before 12 p.m and i always say good morning in the beginning of my vlogs and it's never morning but today is actually morning two of these are for my nails and this is like a hair sponsorship so we're not even gonna worry about this right now i'm pretty sure this is my chrome powder if y'all laugh at my little scissors in the comments i'm gonna be really sad so don't even do it this is supposed to come tomorrow which i would have been doing things very last minute so i'm glad it came today because i do want to knock some stuff out the way today so i guess i'm gonna be finishing my nails this is the chrome powder for my french tips and then i believe that this is a top coat because I was running out of top coat and I use gel if you guys don't know my LED lights are already set up so I'm prepared Beatles gel polish top coat this brand is actually really good I got my nail art brushes from here so hopefully their top coat lives up to what it's supposed to I'm tired of hearing myself talk so I'm probably just gonna do a playlist while I finish up my nails and then I'll show you guys the finished product I also like to focus when I'm doing my nails so I'm gonna have to get back to y'all. I don't really know what I'm doing, honestly, so I'm not even gonna sit here and try to give you guys a tutorial. I'll tell you guys what I did after if it comes out right, but if it don't come out right, then I'm gonna have to fix it, and I don't wanna give you guys like the wrong directions. Yeah. I can't seem to get this, like, this French tip clean, and y'all know I'm CEO of the clean French tip, so like, I don't know what's going on. It's making me upset. This is pretty much how they turned out. They're chrome French tips. They're more on the like glittery side. I wanted them to be more of like a mirror effect. But honestly, I had to do this over twice. Didn't even get to do my other hand. It was just a whole headache. I don't even want to talk about last night. It probably looked a little choppy with the edit because I was just so stressed last night. Like literally. I can't even begin to even think how I'm going to be able to do this left hand. It's the next morning if you can't tell. That's why I sound like a little boy going through puberty. I've been drinking the coffee that I bought from Target. It's not that good, but I guess it's doing a job. I'm actually up earlier today. It's 9.50. I've been up since like 8 o'clock packaging Depop orders and things like that. I actually haven't created that account that I need to create to check my COVID test results. So we're about to do that right now. Keep in mind that this is also my first COVID test. So I hope it tells me if I've had COVID in the past. I don't think I've had COVID in the past. Oh my god, wait, what if I'm positive? I never thought about that. Not detected, we're good. Ooh, we're good, I think. That's what that means, right? Can I see if I've ever had it? Or like, is it only gonna tell me if I don't have it right now? All right, so we can check the COVID account off. I have to package my Depop orders, which I actually already packaged them. I just have to print out the shipping labels. The medium navy blue Telfar, and then this is the Kurt Cobain t-shirt. I have the shipping label made for this one already, but I have to make this one and I have to print both of them. So I think I'm just about to do that right now. Hi, do you guys have anybody available to do a pedicure? 
I can come in now? Yeah, you can come in now. Okay, perfect. But if you're coming, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not even done eating. I don't know why I did that. That was so dumb. Okay, whatever. good she did my french a little thicker than normal because i think it was a different girl that was doing my toes but i still like them so i'm gonna wax my legs when my mom gets back she wants to go take my stuff to the post office i'm about to set up and get ready for my back to school clothing haul which by the time this video is up it should be up so the thumbnail will be here so if you guys haven't watched it yet make sure you go watch that after this video or if you already did then you don't got nothing to worry about the clothes are right here by my mirror and they are taking up a lot of space so i'm just gonna get that over with and i need to get started because it's gonna be a lot of filming So today this video gets finished, this video gets wrapped up, this video is finito after today. So I actually don't have classes today so it kind of just gave me like an extra day to prep which is good. I don't even know if you guys noticed, I didn't even finish my nails, like this is just, if you guys want the honest truth, like this is really what it is. I literally scheduled the nail appointment on a Sunday because I miss getting my nails done so much. So I have a nail appointment Sunday. I actually find out that my school doesn't take like regular doctor's office COVID tests so I have to go in take a whole nother one that's kind of what i'm getting ready for right now but i also just want to give you guys the details on this hair i don't want to bore you guys with the whole install process because i feel like i do that all the time this hair was sent to me by nadula hair they also send you a bunch of goodies in the box with earrings lashes wig cap rat tail comb they send me a headband and you know the silk bag so you don't have to keep the boxes that take up so much space again i did wear this hair in my back to school video so you guys are like familiar with it and have been asking me for the details it's 26 inches it's a 13 by 4 frontal the only like construction criticism i think i have about this wig is the fact that lace was a little bit too dark for me and you know like over time when you're wearing wigs your lace does tend to like darken up so it's just 10 times easier when the lace is already a little too dark i was able to make it work though like in my last video y'all was telling me like oh my god your hair looks so nice so you know i did manage to make it work you can always revive this hair by like you know giving it a full wash i'm just too lazy for that what i like to do when my hair is like a little oily just from like the wax stick before when i was like flattening my hair when it was straight i like to put crimps in it so that's actually what i'm gonna do right now again and they give you a rat tail comb in the box so this is really helpful when it comes to like you know section and not your hair or if you're straightening or if you're crimping or anything like i said before this video is sponsored by nadula hair so i will have a coupon code and everything down below the links to this wig wigs just like it best selling wigs from nadula they're all going to be linked down in the description so make sure you check that out if you guys want to have you know the same look as me this is the first set of crimps and i also am going for like a softer crimp look so i'm not gonna put any hairspray or anything i'm pretty sure i've never discussed with you guys the classes that i picked up and one of those are Japanese. I don't know what made me pick up Japanese because I barely know English. I'm not saying that Japanese is like a bad language to pick up. By all means, if you want to learn Japanese, you can learn Japanese. But it's just like as a freshman trying to get good grades, like wanting to go into this with like, you know, a good mindset. A whole different language is just like not even, I don't even know what made me think to do that. I didn't single-handedly pick Japanese. The way my school works is they have preset schedules for us so that nobody messes up and you know picks too many courses in one area and you know you end up having to do credit recovery or you have too many credits in math and not enough in English. I just went for the schedule that looks like the most appealing aka I have two days off. So that's pretty much what drew me into my schedule. It's crazy because I actually know that Japanese is a very commonly spoken language. Coming from my school experience the worst foreign language that you can be stuck in is spanish and i mean like everybody knows like a little bit of spanish i'm sorry japanese was just way beyond my knowledge of like i didn't even know they can put me in a class like that that's basically the story on how i ended up picking up japanese i also have like some literature classes and stuff like that not worried about that because I am a good writer. And it's actually so funny because I really do have a weird feeling that that's going to end up being like my favorite class. Another good thing about my schedule besides the fact that I have two days off is the fact that I have hybrid classes. So nothing is like 100% in person. Nothing is 100% online. Which is exactly what I wanted for my schedule. I didn't want to be stuck at home all the time because 
I just don't think online learning is the best for me. But then again, I also didn't want to feel like I was back in high school and like going in every day. I haven't crimped my hair in like so long. As much as you guys have been loving this like back to school content, I'm super happy to get back to like normal vlogs. I feel like I haven't filmed a normal vlog and I feel like I kind of don't even remember how to film a normal vlog. So this video is kind of like a vlog, but I feel like these are more scripted vlogs. I want to go back to the vlogs where I'm kind of just being spontaneous and doing just whatever comes to mind that day. Um, I do have something planned this upcoming Sunday to film and I also have a photo shoot next week. So with that being said, I should be going back to like, you know, my normal lifestyle. These videos are a lot easier to sit down and plan and film and you know you guys are just always happy with the back to school videos and I'm not gonna lie I'm super happy about it I literally gained like 13,000 subscribers in the last month all off of like three back to school videos I am kind of sad to kiss the back to school series goodbye but I think there is gonna be a lot of back to school videos or like just you know school videos in general throughout the school year I'm excited for that but I also am really excited to go back to normal vlogging I do feel like it's been making back to school feel like my entire life like I feel like every day is just like back to school back to school back to school i did have second thoughts about starting the back to school series because i thought like you know the back to school commercials are coming on the ads are coming on like i didn't think you guys wanted to see back to school videos from like a youtuber i thought you guys looked at youtube as like you know a way to get away from school really like in my dm harassing me like girl i literally start school like tomorrow and you don't have anything posted so i was just like oh my god all right i didn't i didn't know i was doing this it was very last minute the first video that i put out which was the emergency bag video it was a little bit rushed i'm not gonna lie it was just so i could like put my videos in the back to school rotation you guys made that video do like crazy stupid numbers and then my back to school haul just did 10 times that you guys literally love that emergency bag video and i didn't expect it to get as much attention as it did and that's why i say thank you to you guys all the time and it's just like it, it's so crazy that i wasn't even gonna do those videos i do want to say thank you to a couple of you guys because if it wasn't for y'all recommending those videos they would have never been out and neither would this one have been so i can never really get my crimps even i'm not gonna lie that's like an ongoing thing you see like these are higher than this one it's okay they still look cute this elastic band is literally stopping the blood flow to my brain can you guys see that that's ridiculous but that's what it takes to melt down the wig so my baby hairs already do have like a little default placement just because i've had this wig installed for like a week now are pretty easy to just swoop into place i do plan on giving you guys like a baby hair tutorial like when i do more like intricate or like swoops and stuff like that i want to say another thank you to nadula hair because this hair really did last me a long time and even now i'm still able to put like styles in it i usually prefer a fresh wig for like bone straight looks but when it comes to like crimps and curls and stuff i like to wait till my wigs are like a week or two old and then you know they collected a little bit of oil so you know them crimps is really gonna hold i'm not gonna add any hairspray to this just because again i don't like to straighten my hair with products in it and i change my mind every day today i want crimps tomorrow i want curls the day after i want straight hair so i'm just gonna keep this product free just so you know the versatility of this wig really stretches one last thank you to nazula hair for sending me this wig it's super amazing and of course like i said you guys are asking me questions so make sure y'all go below and buy i'm gonna have a coupon code you know because everybody loves money off back to school's happening most of my college students already went back to school but high schoolers y'all start school in about a week so if you need your wigs jaji got you go down below and look at that coupon code and get your wigs okay so it is one more thing that i wanted to show you guys just because i don't think i'm gonna be doing a what's in my bag maybe like along the time of me being in college when more interesting things get in my bag then i'll show you guys but as of right now i'm not doing like a what's in my bag a school haul because again i do hybrid very plain very simple materials like i don't really use too much but i'm gonna show you guys like the little bit of materials that i actually do have I have some matching folders and notebooks these are the five star brand this is a one subject spiral notebook it is college rule and i did get these from five below if you guys were wondering i got these about like a month ago i want to say the books were three dollars and the folders were two dollars so it was just like for five dollars for both and it's five star everybody knows five star is like the good brand first one is this teal blue and it has gold accents this one is black with the gold accents and of course the matching notebook um then there's like this light pink with gold it's kind of hard to even tell that it's light pink but it's definitely not white it's just a very very pale pink and then for the last book i have it is white with like these little gold triangles the brightness is a little wonky so i don't know if you guys can fully see the gold because it is really reflective i'm really glad that i was able to find all that stuff for like really cheap it was literally five dollars so all of that was twenty dollars something about having cute school supplies it just always makes me more motivated to like open up my book and take notes speaking of notes i also did pick up the paper made colorful pens there's eight colors in here i got these from target if you guys are wondering i'm not sure how much they were but i really like to get colorful pens because again 
Two school supplies and colorful notes just really do it for me. I do want to wrap up this video because I feel like it's been dragging. I still do plan on doing school related content, just not like, you know, back to back, like how I've been doing it. I want to give a big shout out, not only to the OGs of my channel, but the 13,000 of you guys that joined me within the last month. So y'all know I got the tendency to ramble. I'm going to see y'all real soon in a non back to school video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm super excited to film it. So I guess that's the end of this video. I really don't want to end it if you guys ain't noticed. Like, I keep talking. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every single time that I post. Follow me on all my social medias. Everything is at Josh Dior. Make it really easy for you guys to stalk me. And that's pretty much it. Dior Dior. Out of here.